guys, I'm Damesies from the Omnic Post with an update on Overwatch 2. Yesterday we got our first patch notes for Overwatch 2. They look so fancy now, with all those clouds in the background, so dreamy. And when I say the first patch notes for Overwatch 2, well, apart from the beta and the release patch notes, of course, those don't count. Although, those had a lot of balancing changes, while this one does not. There's just one real balancing change in the whole patch, and that is that Zenyatta will no longer receive extra attack speed from Kiriko's ultimate. In other words, Zenyatta needs to chill. Now apparently there are not going to be any balancing changes in the foreseeable future. Blizzard confirmed as much in the latest developer blog, but they are keeping an eye on all the heroes, including Doomfist who might need a little buff, and Sombra who has been doing a little too well according to a lot of people. But Blizzard said that all of the heroes are in the reasonable window of a 45 to 55% win rate. So they're happy. Now win rate isn't everything though. You might moan a game but still be annoyed because you got stuck by Sombra. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, come on. The team aims to do the next big wave of balancing changes when season two drops on December 6th. Unless something breaks. Well, apart from everything else that is breaking. But what else is in these patch notes? A lot of bug fixes. General bugs, PC bugs, console bugs, hero bugs, you name it. I'm as fed up as you guys with all of these issues. But it is clear that they're working really hard to fix them. And they most likely are just as frustrated with this whole situation as we are. Now, there was also some good news on content. First off, Numbani and Necropolis were added back to the map pool, which for this season is uh, only custom games. But I'll be coming back to that topic in a future video. There's a lot to discuss. And it seems that those low placements in competitive in that first week of Overwatch 2 were not only due to the spotty influx of players and that soft reset they did, but apparently there was also a bug at play. Now they have fixed that bug, and to make up for lost time, players that were affected by the bug will get a boost to get back to their original levels quicker. I presume that they're going to make that decision based on your MMR or your previous data. Now I know for a fact that there are going to be people that blame the bug and not getting the boost and I look forward to hearing all of it. I'm just happy that I personally waited till everything kind of settled before I started playing comp. Well, I haven't started yet, because it has not settled yet. I mean, during last night's stream, the game was lagging so hard that it looked like I was fighting ghosts. And you know what? It's not easy to shoot a ghost. I can tell you that much. Yesterday was the first time ever that I got nauseous playing Overwatch. Well, it's a new achievement. Just thinking about it. But we'll get there in the end, I guess. Just, uh, the sooner the better. Now tell me, what do you think about that comp boost? And are you okay with the lack of balancing changes? Let me know in the comments. Join me during my streams on twitch.tv slash TV, And make sure to subscribe for more updates on Overwatch.